Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Web3 Alert. This is Nick, and today we are going to be talking about Ripple and XRP. So with that being said, let's just dive on in and let's start off with the fact that XRP has seen a price eruption. Listen, I have said it time and time again that 56 cents is the big level for XRP to really hold, maintain, and break over. And uh, as you guys do see, we did slightly wick below it on the 30th, but we essentially held the 56 cent zone as support. And uh, now we are jumping. Um, as you guys do see on the last one month, the main reason why I wanted to see 56 get broken is because of how fast XRP moves when it does get broken. This is significant resistance on the macro. If we actually look at the all time chart and even going to the one year, you could actually see where 56 cents is and why it is a big level of interest. So we seen it get broken. And now we are really seeing the big moves erupting on XRP. We actually go over to the coin market cap listings and we go to the top 24 hour movers. XRP is in the top four. Uh, we are seeing it up about roughly 9% on the 24 hour uh, percentage wise um, and a lot of other coins as well. And XLM is following through with it. So love to see it. Now, what is really going on behind the scenes with XRP? Well, let's look into a few things. So first and foremost, Masari Crypto, following the landmark verdict confirming that XRP is not a security, XRP ended quarter three with its market cap up almost 60% year to date. The XRP ledger's decentralized exchange volume also increased nearly 400% quarter over quarter. The XRP ledger aims to end the year strong with new developments, including hooks, the AMM, and even the clawback amendments. And yes, listen, the overall health of the xrp ledger has been very very bullish and very exciting to watch it really kind of expand and also be built upon um one of the biggest things that i've been addressing with xrp is the fact that as we look at xrp itself the xrp ledger is the most exciting part of xrp why because this is what's going to drive the value the demand and ultimately speaking it's what's going to provide a lot of value for the token itself because of utility utility is going to expand rapidly through the xrp ledger projects and i'm very excited for this and as we actually see here though on the chart very interesting statistics here so first and foremost it spiked over 70 percent on july 13th following the rolling from the u.s judges but also we've seen the revenue exceed twenty five thousand dollars per day from june 15th through the 17th very interesting and we actually see the key insights from the overall report as well. The Ripple SEC lawsuit ruling in July marked a landmark decision confirming that XRP is not in itself a security. XRP's market cap ended the quarter up 11.9% quarter over quarter and 59.9% year to date with spikes following the positive regulatory news. Now, mind you, this report was put out on the 27th. So obviously the percentages here are a little bit different and off. Um, decentralized exchange volume was up about 390% quarter over quarter. Much of this activity also occurred shortly after the regulatory news. Hooks, a programmability solution, is live on the DevNet, approaching integration with Zahao Network. Zahao, a modular network built on Hooks, released its white paper in quarter three. Automated market maker and clawback amendments were proposed on the XRP Ledger mainnet, the EVM sidechain, and XLS 38D bridge continued development. Listen, a lot of this is very exciting. And we could actually see the growth here for from quarter three of 2023 versus quarter three of 2022. Um, significant changes, obviously. And I'm really looking forward to seeing a lot more uh, growth from the overall um, active addresses and transaction side of things. I really do think that the overall market is heating up. I also think that the overall market is waking up. Um, I think that very soon here, we are going to start to see uh, retail flooding back in because I think interest is really kind of picking up. Um, this is due to the fact that crypto right now is actually outperforming traditional finance um, greatly. But also, I want to take you guys back to October 19th uh, because that's when Sentiment Feed put out this report, which could also help the fact that we are starting to see a lot of these movements because of accumulation. Um, we have a, we, we were basically consolidating between resistance and support for a little bit of days and we actually seen its first jump from above 53 cents in 10 days despite most altcoins continuing to decline. The rise can largely be attributed to these smart money tiers holding between 10k to 10 million XRP 
accumulating rapidly. They hold about 29.5% of the supply. We could actually see the overall dominance here. Uh, we could also see the wallets increasing drastically. This is very, very interesting. So smart money was accumulating and we also seen a lot of the amendments and a lot of expansions happening. Um, and this is also why we are starting to see the price erupting right now. A part, of course, with the fact that the entire market has essentially flipped bullish um, and we see Bitcoin ranging while Bitcoin dominance is pretty stable. Um, but also, check out this from Ripple X Dev. Last month, the XRP Ledger Accelerator Demo Day provided nine projects with the opportunity to showcase the product they are building and how they are poised to make an impact in the world of blockchain and beyond. And uh, here we could actually see some of the we could see some of the insights of the event um, and we could actually see uh, some of the projects um, pretty much explaining their overall use case potential and what they could provide for the entire ledger um, and the impact that they will have on it as well and the impact on the world outside of crypto, of course. Um, very exciting. And listen, a lot of these projects are very incredible uh, projects. For example, like Nerd Watchdog presented a groundbreaking approach to traceability with NFTs. Coming out of the University of Luxembourg, the team has already set about, uh, or sorry, has already set about ensuring partnerships with key academic institutions. Also, Quarter Market app already has over 1,000 users in the US and Colombia. The team's platform is aiming to transform the way businesses transact on the XRP ledger. And then also, um, an interesting one is this Verify Ed. So this is a platform that leverages blockchain to issue verifiable digital credentials addressing the critical issue in the education and employment sectors. The team is taking on recruitment fraud head on, already onboarding over 160 global institutions. And these are just a few of the many projects here. Um, I absolutely love to see this. Listen, this is what you want to see. This is directly providing value to the XRP ledger and XRP as a token as well. And we have seen non-stop growth on the XRP ledger. It has been a very exciting year. Listen, we have seen major announcement after major announcement, not just on the side of XRP, but also even from Ripple, um, expanding their Ripple payments, which is on-demand liquidity, affecting XRP, obviously. Um, I mean, this has been an incredible year. If you are an XRP holder, you are essentially celebrating now because I get it that the price is not drastically, you know, jumping to a dollar plus or anything like that. But we still have seen an incredible year for XRP in the entire industry. And there's no way that you could deny that. Um, but also on XRP, listen, I knew 60 cents was coming um, essentially once we broke 56 cents. But what I'm really looking forward to seeing um, right now, if we're actually looking at the log scale on the all time chart, um, I'm waiting to see if we are going to reject around like 65, 66 cents or if we are going to smash through this, because if we do smash through this level, well, we are most likely going to retest the dollar plus range. Um, and that's where things get very interesting on if we are going to go to $2 or if we are going to retest the, the historical 2017, 2018 all time high and actually break out of a new all time high. So with that in mind, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys definitely did. Definitely hit that like, subscribe to notifications on button to never miss a future update. If you guys do want to follow the Web3 Alert over on Twitter at the Web3 Alert. If you guys want to go check out the website, the Web3 Alert.com to really kind of look at a lot more coverage of everything crypto, you guys are more than welcome to. And with that being said, guys, it's been Nick. Peace out.